Hello again. Here is question 24 from the 2014 exam. And we're given the graph of a function here on the same axis, sketch the inverse. So the inverse of a function, you, you just have to swap the x and y values um, and, and then sketch it. So um, here we go. Uh, this graph they've given us of fx has looks like two asymptotes at um, y equals minus 1 and x equals 4. So we'll just swap those over. So the, the asymptotes, instead of being at x equal to 4, will be at y equal to 4. So let's put that in at y equal to 4. Here's my one of my asymptotes for the inverse. And the other one before was at y equals minus 1. Now it will be x equals minus 1. Just swapping the x and y. So there's my two new asymptotes. And now let's just change some points over. So this point here is the point 2, 3. So the point on the inverse will be the point 3, 2, which is here. Uh, this point here is the point mm, about 3 and a half, 0. So it will be about 0, 3 and a half. So I'll be over to here. Um, this point here is about 0, 1 and a little bit. So it'll be 1 little bit and 0. So that'll be to here. Uh, where else can we go? Uh, this point, I'm, I'm nearly got it now, haven't I? Uh, this point here is 3 and getting close, 3 and almost 4, and then followed by 3. So the inverse will be 3, and then almost getting up to 4. So that will be there. And we can see where we're going to go with that. We're going to go down and then up. And I'll just do the tail end over here. We're at um, minus 4 and minus a little bit there. Swapping those over will be minus a little bit, and then down to minus 4. So it will be down to about there somewhere. And we should have our picture. It's going to go, if I can do this neatly, it's going to start off down here. This is the asymptote. Oh, come on, I'm going to have a mess of it. Come down up like that. Oh, where's it going to cross there? It's going to cross at minus one. Oh, I should. Yeah, that's a rubbish one. Just do a bit of rubbing out there. Make my rubber a little bit smaller. Get rid of that bit. And that wasn't very pretty. Try again. Um, the reason for that is that this point here is at minus one and a half zero. So I've got to be at zero minus one and a half. I've got to go through that point there, roughly. Okay. Try again. Still starting off down the bottom of this asymptote. And I'm going to go through that point and that point. And I'm going to go to there. Oh, it should be a nice little curvy bit there. Come across there. Down to that point there. And then zooming back up. And getting closer and closer to that asymptote. And that will be my inverse. Kind of ugly. Um, just as a matter of interest, and you, you probably will want to be aware of this, where the function and its inverse cross, that is there, or there, that will be along the line y equals x. That's always the way that it is with inverses. So, but you won't really ask for that in this question, but um, anyway, that's, that's where you, they do cross the function and its inverse. Okay. Uh, that's where I will stop.